I first met Charlie Wilkes in uh, 1987 when I uh, joined the Community College of Rhode Island. Uh, his personality is such that uh, when you encounter him for the first time, you'll remember him for the rest of your life. Charlie's still a legend around here. You know, even though I don't know how many years ago now, almost 50 years ago he played here. I met Charlie at Rick. Uh, he graduated in 64. So I met him uh, the year 63, 64, 65. I used to watch him play ball and thought he was very cute and had great legs. <laughs> so, you know, found him very attractive and we just started going out. I mean, when people think of uh, Charlie Wilkes, they think of his humor, uh, the atmosphere that, that he creates when he's there. Everybody's happy, everybody's laughing, but it brings together a lot of closeness within the staff. Charlie is an individual who is more than willing to work in the background, uh, but uh, works very diligently to get things done. For example, he wanted no notoriety for Kids College. As a coordinator for the uh, Success Center, he was not interested in uh, developing that program and having his name on it. Charlie's a catalyst that makes things happen. The whole intent of the Kids College program was to expose the state of Rhode Island to the capabilities of the Community College of Rhode Island. And Joe DeMaria I said, Charlie, I need, there's only one guy that can make this work. It's for the good of the college. It can put us in a different place. He knew how to get faculty to work together and staff to work together. Charlie, I think for two years, gave up summers. So he developed the program. It's a tremendous success, ran for many years, and uh, began to uh, double its occupancy through the summer. So, you know, Twenty some years ago, my wife passed away suddenly. And then Charlie, along with Don Tentia, decided they should have a scholarship fund. And they put on a roast where they generated enough money to begin the uh, scholarship fund. Somebody said, you know, so-and-so's daughter's sick, we need to have a fundraiser. Charlie be the first one, uh, you know, I'll chair the event. Mary O'Neill, who was our college, our college nurse, and we had no athletic trainer, used to, used to travel with the team. We come back to find out while we were in Puerto Rico, Mary's house had sustained a, uh, a fire. Charlie threw another party right away to get enough funds so Mary could have the house repaired. And he just jumps in and helps anybody he can, whenever he can. Charlie always was a teacher first and a coach second. Love for both. His students wanted to be in his classes. Uh, it wasn't because it was an easy grade, but it, it was because they felt he had a sincere interest in them and he wanted them to succeed. And he went beyond the classroom work. He was eager to tutor them and uh, he did an exceptional job in getting them through the course. In the coaching side of it, when I was vice president, I got to observe him and I noticed that he was able to keep the students in line. He really wanted those kids to be successful academically as much athletically and I, I think that's, that's his big thing. He brings so much to the team. He has a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. And with Charlie, that's contagious. Kids could really relate to him because, you know, he was kind of sometimes a kid, he, a kid at heart. I think that's what he is. Charlie's really a kid at heart. It's important for a team to feel like we're all one group or we don't have different factions on it. And Charlie was a real, real key for that. So we had up a great relationship that lasted for 30 years. In name, Charlie was an associate head coach, but for all practical purposes, we were like co-coaches. We, we coached the team together. A lot of colleges today have academic programs for the, for the athletes. That didn't exist back then. We realized a lot of the basketball players, you know, some of them come from tough backgrounds and not academically inclined. So we came up with the suggestion that maybe Charlie could be the academic advisor to those people that were on the basketball team. We had a lot of success with that, and then we expanded it to the entire department. And that was the forerunner to a lot of the programs that are in, that are in the colleges and universities today. My father has been a wonderful father. There are so many values that I think I'm very fortunate that my parents have taught my sister and myself. My father always stressed to getting your schoolwork done, extracurricular activities, uh, being athletic. He always 
kind of wanted my sister and I to strive to do our best. And uh, he, he taught us good values. He taught us good values. A very soft and very serious side that doesn't come out too often. And it's quite touching. It's something they probably wouldn't associate with Charlie Wilkes. A very kind, uh, just a great, great person. He worked at Upward Bound um, at Rick and for several years to help uh, disadvantaged kids succeed. Many people don't know that he was instrumental in the faculty union. He was a faculty leader. It was Charlie's integrity that brought the faculty together to listen to rational approaches to union and labor relations. People that might go, oh, what the heck's Charlie Wolf's going in the school hall of fame for? It's, you know, he's an athletic guy. He did so much more to the add to the fabric of that institution when I really think they needed it most. Charlie, congratulations. What you did within the athletic department went far beyond that. You did it college-wide. I'm proud. You know, it's a wonderful role model for my children and for other people to see that you can make a difference. you just got to do your best and think about others and not just yourself. I, I think my father being inducted into the Hall of Fame embodies uh, a completion of an amazing career for an amazing man. My dad would always be teaching life's lessons through his own actions. He is an incredible role model to many, including my sister, myself, the CCRI community, and now his grandchildren, who absolutely adore him. I am so proud of you, Dad. I love you very much.